Well, we're here on a bright morning outside Varuna Point, picking up a couple of morning spicy pine berries. Gotta load them up again for the next round, but actually that's feeling a little short on strawberries. I mean, well, okay, okay, I guess I can plant some more. Got my strawberry plantation, because, you know, there's a fair number of these new drinks that need strawberries. But I'm... I'm started out with quite a few more seeds, and I harvested quite a number of 20 strawberries. But only 7 seeds, and I think I started with 12. So the real question is, if we've got these new recipes that require strawberries, where are we going to find them? I might think that you could come here to Utopia, because this was the great fruit and fish market, right? But if you look around, uh, there's not really that much left. There's no bananas, there's no mangoes, there's no pineapples. It's just mackerel and potatoes and watermelons. Literally the most common and useless fruits. They won't even give you salmon anymore. Not even salmon. As you can see... There's really only one worthwhile place to go of the Story Islands. Stay tuned. It's Tangaroa. Hey there, I'm Iota, and I played this game. This game being Raft. Hello, Llama. I'm here outside Tangaroa, because... I've been having some trouble finding any place except for Tangaroa to get the strawberry and banana seeds. Now, banana seeds, not quite so bad. Oh, gonna have to get around my rhino shark there. But there's only one place I can find in the game to get strawberry seeds, and since strawberry seeds are used for so many things in the new juicer recipes, I thought I'd make sure everybody was aware of where you can find it, and... You know, if you stick around at the end, you can find a bonus spot to uh, snag a bunch of free titanium. Although that's really not quite the uh, concern that it used to be now that there's the trading post with 15 titanium available for pretty cheap overall. Now, it doesn't really matter where you land on Tangaro. Just pick a direction and run. Eventually, you'll get around to the entrance. Yeah, I usually try to go to what would that be the... Uh, right hand side starboard side as you're uh, as you're drifting it's uh, what's really nice is to kind of tuck in between the um the two pieces of tangaroa the ejected uh, what is it landing no escape capsule maybe although what's the point of having a flying top of the building seems weird okay so i picked the wrong direction if i'd gone the other way i would have got there pretty quick but instead, I had to run a much bigger circle. But that's okay. Butler bots really just, just keep running and they can't really catch you. So, we get into the underground. Sometimes there's going to be a little rattling lurker down there, but uh, not super often. What we're looking for is the plantation, because that's where we're going to get the strawberry and banana seeds. Like I said, banana seeds, they tend to regenerate fairly well. It's the strawberry seeds where you're not super likely. It's like three quarters of the time you get a strawberry seed. But you'll see, you know, multiple bananas, but no seed there. Okay. Yeah, there's a banana seed. There's two banana seeds, three. So, see, it's pretty easy. I find the best way to get through and make sure you pick everything up here is just spiral around. Pick either counterclockwise or clockwise, however different people put those concepts. And uh, that way you make sure you catch all the different rooms and bits, and then eventually we want to go to the elevator. So I'm still going to get the bananas, but they're less significant than the strawberries at this point. So far, I seem to have gotten the seed for most of the strawberries. And what you'll find, like, it'll it'll go for a while. If you've got a, you know, 20 stack, it'll do a lot of strawberries before it finally runs out. But it will eventually run out. 
I'm not sure if the ones on Tangaro are programmed to give back a better seed ratio than they do on the raft. But, happy to get more seeds while I'm here. The other place we can look for while we're down here is the crane room. So no point getting back to surface access. So, ah, that means I didn't come over here. Me, hey, spiral. It works. And once we've done this, that should be the whole plantation. We'll be able to see what we've got in terms of... Nothing good in there. So, nine banana seeds, eight strawberry seeds, with a total of nine strawberries. So, you know, not bad for a, for a ratio. Now, let's see what's... I think this might be the crane access. Somewhere down here. Ah, yep, storage area. So, you gotta come in here and duck down. Now, if you don't have the uh, the things moved, you may have to go to the crane and kind of memorize which ones to shift over so you can swim it in, in here. Pick up some awesome free stuff because this is definitely one of the few places of really affordable titanium. Uh, yeah, now we want to get back to the elevator, because then we pick up the last secret room. So that's five free titanium there, so that's not, not something to sneeze at. Oh. Run up the ladder. Okay, come on. Okay. Elevator. I'm glad there's signs, you know. It'd be such a pain in the butt to try to remember how to get around here. And then, boom, boom. Nothing super interesting over there. So, and then this is the one that has the secret room up here that takes down to floor minus 20 because if you swim underneath Tangaroa it is a giant sphere ball floating in the water and so go down there and then we just get out at flow you can go up to floor 8 you can hunt around and get whatever vending machine tokens but honestly I've I've got lots of vending machine tokens right now and I, I don't kind of feel like it so, that brings us to 8 titanium. Not bad overall. I mean, again, it's only half what you're getting at a trading post now. But since this is the only source of strawberries, it still makes sense to go back to Tangaroa and to keep that on the, the receiver. Because as long as you travel far enough forward, it'll respawn in front of you eventually. And Tangaroa is nice because it almost always spawns consistently in front. Now, oh, there, there's where I put you, Raft. Ha ha. All right, doing good. I both love and hate that the Butler bots are super ineffective. <laughs> On the one hand. You know, it'd be more fun if there was a bit of a challenge there, but on the other hand, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. All right. Now, just to wrap this up and show you, we take the, uh, the seeds. So I've got four times five, so 20, 
Let's see. So, and we're down to three seeds. So we started off with eight, harvested tw 20, and we ended up with three. So we only got 15 seeds for the 20 strawberries. Not bad, but, you know, not great. So means that Tangaroa is really the only story island that is worth going back to. And it's going to be worth going back to fairly often. Stock of titanium, stock of strawberry seeds for all those delicious strawberries. Well, I'm going to cook up some more juice. So, take it easy. Happy rafting!